Nearly 80 years after his fall, Benito Mussolini's obelisk still towers into the Roman sky. It stands outside the Foro Italico, formerly known as the Foro Mussolini. It's here the dictator built a sports complex to cultivate the new man of his fascist regime. People have mixed feelings about these monuments. Seeing all these stadiums and these monuments forces us to face the past every day. By not forgetting the past, it makes sure that we won't repeat it. This is Italian history, art and architecture, and it needs to stay as it is. This stadium built under Mussolini's direction is a reminder of the importance of sport for him. He saw it as a way to build a national identity. Fascists also saw sport as a way to prepare the population for war. And inside the complex, a fresco of Mussolini still graces the walls. Prime ministers have given speeches here in recent years under the gaze of the former dictator who collaborated with Hitler in the Holocaust. Across the country, monuments to fascism are everywhere. Some pay homage to Mussolini for public works. Others glorify the regime for creating an Italian empire. Experts say that unlike Germany, Italy never had a reckoning with its fascist past. Decades later, Italy also stands apart from a global movement pushing to tear down statues of enslavers and those who fought for racist causes. Even one of Italy's oldest anti-fascist organizations is against demolishing fascist monuments. It would be too simplistic to do that and a distraction from the real work. We haven't erased any of our history, even bad parts from ancient Rome. We have made a point of explaining it, and that's what we should do with fascism. Historian Andrea Mamone says there seems to be an acceptance of these monuments. There is a sort of normalization or legitimization of fascism. We should explain to people that that was a brutal regime, that that was a dictatorship, and even if we leave monuments, we should acknowledge that that is not democracy, it's something else. A common refrain in Italy is that fascists were brutal, but they did good things too. With that idea in mind, it's likely their monuments will stand for years to come. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Rome.